Hello, this is Cycle 2, Week 16 Science, Experiment 190 in Van Cleve's book, Breakthrough. This is a good demonstration uh, that everyone can participate with, everyone um, can enjoy. Depending on how much pre-work you do for your students, this demonstration may go relatively quickly uh, in class, which I think it's good that CC has paired it up um, with, the, uh, with the experiment Shape Up, the demonstration Shape Up. That takes a little bit more time to set up. Uh, it's a little bit more involved. There's more pieces um, uh, to go over and the kids can all practice multiple times. So I think it's a good pairing, but just keep in mind that, that this particular experiment breakthrough, I think will, will go a little bit quicker than, than the one that it's paired with. Um, in order to set up this experiment, you, you uh, take two pieces of paper um, and using uh, your uh, compass, you draw circles uh, that are approximately eight inches in diameter, and you need two of them. Um, those, those eight inch circles then are, are further manipulated. One circle, using a pair of scissors after you cut it out, uh, one circle you cut from the edge into the center, and then you take it, that, that piece of paper, and then you fold it, uh, overlap the edges to make this cone shape. And then I put a piece of masking tape here. Um, you could use scotch tape, of course. Um, here to, to help hold it together. In order, because our, our question then for this demonstration is which circle, which piece of paper um, falls faster? Uh, and one of the, the things that may impact that is the mass of, of the object. We, we know as budding scientists that uh, the gravitational pull of objects is directly dependent on its mass. And so objects with more mass have a higher uh, pull of gravity and they will fall faster. So. I, I put this piece of tape here to hold the structure, so I added this piece of tape here to make sure the mass uh, is the same. Okay, so now uh, let's look at the demonstration and then let's talk about what's happening. So I want to start with um, the point of the cone-shaped piece of paper and the circle, the flat piece of paper, at uh, about the same height. So I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to let them go. We're going to say three, two, one. <coughs> the cone-shaped piece of paper clearly fell faster and, and hit the ground. Let's, let's do it one more time. Let's, let's go up a little higher. Even. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> Again, cone-shaped piece of paper fell uh, faster. So as what's going on? Why? That's the key question. So as the objects are moving through the air, of course, so they're falling. So what's going on? The, the gravity is pulling on the objects, but, but we don't live in a vacuum, right? We, we live in an atmosphere, uh, a carefully designed atmosphere. And so that atmosphere, then the molecules of that atmosphere uh, are pushing on the pieces uh, of paper as they're moving. And so if we imagine the object stationary here, the atmosphere is surrounding it, and then at the point at which this object begins to move down, then the air molecules that are around it are pushing against it. Um, it the, the force that they're pushing with it is not enough to, to keep the object suspended or to keep it up in the air, but it does slow its fall, so to speak. It does, it does decrease uh, the rate at which it falls. And so as the object then is, is moving down, the air is pushing uh, against it. Same thing is happening with our flat sheet of paper, right? So as the object falls, there's all these air molecules here. As the object begins to fall, those air molecules are pushing against it. So the actual surface area, because the two pieces of paper are approximately eight inch circles, then the surface area of the paper and of the two objects is the same. The mass is the same. So those two things are not what's responsible for the difference in the rate of fall. So what is? Well, you can lead your students to, to, to hypothesize the answer by saying, well, what's different about them? You're right, they have the same mass. They're both pieces of paper. They have the same consistency. They're the same size. But one is in a cone shape. Right? And that's the, that's the difference. One is in a cone shape, which means that um, at the point at which this object begins to move, so I want to, to imagine each object moving as it starts to move, because as, as it falls through the, the air, the air molecules are pushing against this entire surface. As this object falls, the air molecules are pushing against this entire surface on the way down. But the shape is critical, right? And it's easiest to see it at the point at which the object begins to move, the point at which your, your students or you release the object. So when you release the object and the object begins to move, the, 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 the piece of the object, the surface area of the object that's moving down first is very small compared to, this, to the surface area of this object. So as the two objects are moving, there's, 
the air molecules are going to impact the entire surface area, but as at that point in which it's moving, it's only this initial area right here at the tip of the cone where those molecules are pushing up um, as, as the object begins to fall. And because of the shape of the object, it's making it very smooth and, and easy. There's, there's little turbulence as, the, as it moves through. The air molecules are able to impact and move relatively smoothly compared to this because now the entire circle has all these air molecules on it and they're all impinging on it as it begins to fall. And so as it pushes down, again, the mass is enough that it pushes through the, the force of those air molecules um, on the piece of paper, but, but it's doing it in a very irregular way. It creates a lot of turbulence. That's why uh, on, on the one drop that the paper moves a little bit like this, usually in the one case it actually went all the way off of, out of the, the field of the, of the, of the camera um, because there's more turbulence. So because of all of those things, then the cone, cone-shaped piece of paper uh, falls much faster than the flat piece of paper, uh, and, and that's why. This is a, a cool demonstration, and I know that your kids will like it. This is Cycle 2, Week 16 Science.